The sea-based X-band radar is a floating, self-propelled, mobile active electronically scan array early warning radar station designed to operate in high winds and heavy seas. It was developed as part of the Missile Defense Agency's Ballistic Missile Defense System. The radar is mounted on a fifth-generation CS-50 twin-hulled semi-submersible drilling rig. Conversion of the vessel was carried out at the Amfels Yard in Brownsville, Texas. The radar mount was built and mounted on the vessel at the Cuyuit Yard in Ingleside, Texas. It is nominally based at Adak Island in Alaska. It has spent most of its time at Pearl Harbor in test status, having never become operational, and has received criticism for falling short of program expectations. Specifications, vessel length, 116 meters, vessel height, 85 meters from keel to top of a dome, vessel draft, approximately 10 meters when in motion or not on station, approximately 30 meters when on station, vessel stability, Remains within 10 degrees of horizontal on station, cost, 900 million US dollars, crew, approximately 75 to 85 members, mostly civilian contractors, radar range, 2,000 kilometers, displacement, 50,000 short tons. Details, SBX-1 is part of the ground-based mid-course defense system under development by the MDA. The decision to place the system on a mobile sea-based platform was intended to allow the vessel to be moved to areas where it is needed for enhanced missile defense. Fixed radars provide coverage for a very limited area due to the curvature of the Earth. However, the same limitation applies to the SBX. SBX's primary task is discrimination of enemy warheads from decoys, followed by precision tracking of the identified warheads. Testing has raised doubts about the system's ability to perform these tasks, to deal with multiple targets, and to report accurately to command authorities. The vessel has many small domes for various communications tasks and a large central dome that encloses a phased array, 1,800-ton X-band radar antenna. The small domes are rigid, but the central dome is not. The flexible cover is supported by positive air pressure amounting to a few inches of water. The amount of air pressure is variable depending on weather conditions. The radar antenna itself is described as being 384 M2. It has a large number of solid-state transmit-received modules mounted on an octagonal flat base which can move A plus or minus 270 degrees in azimuth and 0 to 85 degrees elevation. The maximum azimuth and elevation velocities are approximately 5 to 8 degrees per second. In addition to the physical motion of the base, the beam can be electronically steered off site. There are currently 22,000 modules installed on the base. Each module has one transmit receive feed horn and one auxiliary receive feed horn for a second polarization, totaling 44,000 furry tons. The base is roughly two-thirds populated, with space for installation of additional modules. The current modules are concentrated towards the center to minimize grating lobes. This configuration allows it to support the very long-range target discrimination and tracking that GMD's mid-course segment requires. The array requires over a megawatt of power. In addition to the power consumed by the radar, the thrusters which propel the vessel are electric and require substantial power. The maximum speed is approximately 8 knots. To support this and all other electrical equipment, the vessel currently has six 3.6 MW generators. The generators are in two compartments, one port and one starboard. The maximum power currently drawn is roughly 12 MW, and there are plans to expand the number of generators to eight, so that one entire compartment could be lost and the vessel will continue to operate at full capability. The radar is derived from the radar used in the THAAD Theater Ballistic Missile Defense System, and is a part of the Layered Ballistic Missile Defense Program of the United States Missile Defense Agency. One important difference from Aegis is the use of X-Band in the SBX. Aegis uses S-Band, and Patriot uses the higher frequency C-Band. The X-Band frequency is higher still, so its shorter wavelength enables finer resolution of tracked objects. The radar was designed and built by Raytheon Integrated Defense Systems for Boeing, the prime contractor on the project for MDA. 
The radar has been described by Lieutenant General Trey Obring as being able to track an object the size of a baseball over San Francisco and California from Chesapeake Bay in Virginia, approximately 2,900 miles away. The radar will guide land-based missiles from Alaska and California, as well as in theater assets. The CS-50 semi-submersible rig on which the radar is mounted was built as the Moss Sirius at the Vyborg shipyard in Russia for Moss Maritime. The vessel is classed by ABS and is the IMO number of 8,765,412. The first such vessel is scheduled to be based in Adak Island, Alaska, part of the Aleutian Islands. From that location it will be able to track missiles launched toward the U.S. from both North Korea and China. Although her Hummer port is in Alaska, she will be tasked with moving throughout the Pacific Ocean to support her mission. The name given to the SBX vessel, SBX-1, indicates the possibility of further units of the class. In circumstances when a vessel is required to be continually on duty over a long period of time, Common naval practice is to have at least three units of the type available to allow for replenishment, repair and overhaul. Three further vessels of the CS-50 slash Moss Sirius design were under construction or contract at the Severodvinsk shipyard in Russia as of early 2007, but were configured for oil production. On May 11, 2011, Colonel Mark Ann, the SBX project manager for MDA, said that the SBX is the only one of its kind and there are no current plans for another one. In July 2011, a missile defense agency spokesman explained that other, smaller radars in the Pacific will pick up the slack while SBX is in port with its radar turned off. Operational history, the SBX deployed in 2006. The ship has spent time for maintenance and repair at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii several times, including 170 days in 2006, 63 days in 2007, 63 days in 2008, 177 days in 2009, and 51 days in 2010. When not at Hawaii, the SBX has been on operational deployments in the Pacific, including the waters off Alaska. The ship has not moored at Alaska, in spite of the construction of a $26 million, Eight-point mooring chain system installed in 2007 in Adak's Kulak Bay. On June 23, 2009, the SBX was moved to offshore Hawaii in response to a potential North Korean missile launch. Between 2009 and 2010, the vessel spent 396 continuous days at sea. The SBX failed during a flight test on January 31, 2010, designated FTG-06. The test was a simulation of a North Korean or Iranian missile launch. The test failure arose from two factors, the first being that algorithms in the SBX radar software were left disengaged for the test, and the second was a mechanical failure in a thruster on the kill vehicle. During flight test FTG-06 on December 15, 2010, the SBX performed as expected, but intercept of the target missile was again not achieved. In May 2011, the SBX-1 entered Vega Shipyard in Seattle for a $27 million upgrade and maintenance work by contractor Boeing. The work was completed in about three months and in August 2011, SBX-1 departed Seattle for deployment. In December 2011, MDA transferred responsibility for the SBX vessel management and physical security to the U.S. Navy's Military Sea Life Command. MDA retains responsibility for communications, the X-band radar, and for mission integration. In February 2012, the Missile Defense Agency requested only $9.7 million per year for fiscal years 2013 through 2017, down from $176.8 million in fiscal 2012. This reduced amount will be used to maintain SBX in AA Euro or limited test support a Euro role while also retaining the ability to recall it to an active, operational status if and when it is needed a euro in April 2012, it was reported that SBX-1 had left Pearl Harbor and was assumed to be being deployed to monitor North Korea's planned Unha-3 missile in the launch window of 12 a euro April 16, 2012. The vessel returned to Pearl Harbor on May 21, 2012. It redeployed to monitor the next North Korean launch attempt at the end of 2012. In April 2013, 
it was reported that SBX-1 was being deployed to monitor North Korea. It has never been deployed to ADAC. Gallery. See also, Texas Towers. References. Sea-based X-band radar vessel entered Elliot Bay Tuesday night HTTP, www.westsatelherald.com 05 News Slideshow Update 3 Sea-based X-band radar SBX vs Sea-based X-band radar vessel up close and personal at Vigor Shipyard HTTP, www.westsatelherald.com 05 News Sea-based X-band radar SBX vessel close and perso, big rigs, large. Powerful radar systems underpin U.S. missile defense efforts. Goodman, Glenn W., C4ISR pages 26 a Euro 28, March 2006. Washington Times, U.S. failed to use best radar for N Korea missile, April 15, 2009, pages 1. New York Times, Hawaii prepares for missile threat, June 23, 2009. External links. Sea-based X-band radar sourcebook, July 2007 via Federation of American Scientists, Sea-based X-band radar sourcebook Volume 2, via Federation of American Scientists, Sea-based ballistic missile defense, background and issues for Congress, Congressional Research Service, June 2007, via Federation of American Scientists, United States Missile Defense Agency, Boeing Multimedia Sea-Based X-Band Radar Image Gallery, Sea-Based X-Band Radar Arrives in Pearl Harbor, January 10, 2006, a Euro MDA announces arrival of SBX at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, about Raytheon IDS, Army officer giving tour.